Hi friends, welcome back to my new lecture in the Atom Boy. Today we are going to discuss about disc break. In the previous lecture we have discussed about a drum break. Now we'll go for disc break. Now in front of you we are having the general layout of Atom Boy. You can see here this is the brake pedal which will be in a contact with the driver leg and it will be operated by using a leg. Here is a master cylinder in which brake fluid will be available and this brake fluid is connected to two front wheel and two rear wheel. Generally a uh, front wheels are disc brake you can see here this is a disc brake and rear wheels are of drum brake. So when we apply a brake pedal the fluid will be supplied to disc brake as well as a drum brake and it will operate and vehicle will be stopped. Today we are going to discuss about how this disc brake works what actually happens when we apply leg here and the vehicle will get stopped. Let's see. This is a simple figure of the disc brake where we are shown this is the disc, this is the disc and disc will be connected to wheel. So here on this particular part there will be wheel. So wheel will be connected somewhere here like this one wheel is connected and when the wheel is rotating disc will also rotate and the disc and wheel are connected to each other by using the nut and bolt arrangement. So this disc is covered by the caliper this particular part is called as caliper you can see here that this also has name as wheel caliper in the wheel caliper we are having a piston cylinder arrangement on the left side and right side so this is the left side and this is the right side both are cylinder and both are connected to one common pipeline and that common pipeline goes to a master cylinder so we know we are discussed here what is the master cylinder this is the master cylinder and from master cylinder the fluid is entering to the disc brake and this is the caliper this is the caliper and we are observing here internal detail of the caliper you can see that this is the blue color is the piston this blue color is the piston and the red color is the friction material so this red or pink color is the friction material so this piston can reciprocate front and back this piston can move reciprocate front and back currently there is a gap between a friction material and a disc Remember that when the wheel is rotating which is provided here when wheel is rotating then disc will also rotate or when disc is rotating wheel will be rotated. So there will not be any relative motion between the disc and wheel. If you see the actual vehicle the actual vehicle disc brake will be seen like this. This is actually disc which we have shown here this is a disc and this is the caliper this particular part is called as this particular part is called as a caliper you can see it in a larger view like this this is called as caliper and this is what called as a disc on the disc you will find that number of holes are drilled in order to transfer a heat there is no any other meaning many times students get confused why these holes are provided but these are provided for transferring a heat from the disc to the outside and this is caliper inside a caliper will have a construction like this okay so this is a line diagram and this is what actual photograph of the disc brake. Now let's con consider working of the disc brake. When we apply a force here, when we apply a force here, the fluid goes and it goes to the uh, caliper. When the force is applied, when the force is applied, the fluid will come here and it will enter before the piston here and before the piston here. You can see in a bigger view. The fluid will come like this and it will occupy the space here and it will occupy the space here. When it occupies the space after certain time it generates a force on the piston and it will give force on the piston because force applied on this particular piston. So what happens? The both piston moves towards center. When the both piston moves towards center and when it moves sufficiently towards center the friction material will come in contact with the disc here and this friction material will also come in contact with this particular disc because this friction material rub over the rub over this particular surface the rotation of the disc will be stopped and ultimately rotation of the wheel will also stop when you release it because of spring once again the wheel will uh, this particular piston will move back and the disc will free to rotate once you once again if you apply a force then what will happen these two piston moves forward and it holds this particular disc and the rotation will stop and ultimately the rotation of the wheel also gets stops. Let's consider one more picture. Here also we can understand working of disc brake. See this is the brake pedal. 
this is the booster to reduce effort required this is the master cylinder which stores the fluid there from this fluid it comes to this particular device you can see here this particular disc is connected to wheel by using nut and bolt arrangement when wheel is rotating the disc will also start rotating you can see the caliper construction here this is the caliper these are two piston which we have discussed already and the pink color what we are observing that is the brake pad now when we apply when we apply a force over here the fluid which is present here yellow color that moves forward and it occupies before these two piston that is what called as brake piston when the sufficiently force is increased these two will move towards the disc and the friction material will rub against the disc when friction material rub against the disc the rotation of disc will be stopped and the wheel will also get stopped immediately when you when you release the paddle on this side then the piston will move outward releasing the releasing the disc and the wheel will be free to rotate now once again when we apply a force again the fo the fluid will come here and the brake will be applied so like this the disc brake is used many two wheelers and four wheelers you can see this particular disc brake mounted on the front side there is a small animation related to this you can see here that this is the caliper and this is the piston movement when we apply a brake on this side so what happened the fluid will come here and it will occupy this space over here and the yellow color what you have seen here that is the brake material so it will hold the disc you can see here this will holding a disc here and releasing this when we apply a brake on this side on this side when we apply a brake what happened here the disc will be get hold and the wheel will be stopped so this is all about working of the disc brake thank you very much for listening